Uh, so here's the deal. I actually have a bit of money now, but it's not a lot. It's like 500 mil. We need at least like three bill before the next front. So I thought we would, you know, give the wheel a little spin, make some money and just have a fun little PBM day today. All right, come on, Amy. Ooh, I got 40 Onyx dues. Not, I mean, not terrible. We'll take those. I want to guess, no, Solak is my main boss. Like, it is the boss I do more than anything else. And I'm actually so happy about the Grim Page change. Even though it makes Solak's super power go down a tiny bit, it counterbalances itself by making the Grimoire, the Grimoire goes up now because people are actually open to using it. Oh, God. <laughs> Oops. I, uh, I was trying to res there, and you have to step out if you're going to res. And that is actually my full hour of profit gone. Woo! <laughs> okay. All right. Um, chat, can you guys do me a favor? Can you do me a quick favor? A quick favor. Can we not talk about it? I... I... Goodbye, Mr. Ambassador, who has robbed me of 21 mil. Maybe we'll get uh, get some of that back here. Um, yeah, that'll cover it. Surely. Actually, I haven't told the story in a while, but do you guys remember the story about how my mom accidentally sent a debt collector after me? Basically, I went full-time in the middle of my final year of my psych undergrad. Um, a bunch of circumstances happened where I was like, I, it was my one opportunity. I knew it was a perfect opportunity. There was no point finishing my year at school. So I let my school know and I talked about my tuition. I said, if I need to pay full tuition, I will, but I'm guessing I'm considering I'm leaving halfway through. I might be able to save on tuition because there are half year courses. And they said, yeah, of course. Yeah, all of your half year courses, you'll get 90% of your tuition off or whatever it was, which makes sense because I'm, I'm deregistering for the course basically, which is fine. That's what I wanted to do. And the problem is they told me that, but they forgot to actually process it. So I at home, I start streaming. I'm doing lots of challenges with cash, whatever else. I'm, I'm full time for the first time in my life. And I'm like, the school chapter in my life is behind me. I'm good. I'm safe. We're gaming, right? And then a couple months later, I get a call from my mom. And she's in a bit of a panic about this. Understandably, what happened is I wasn't living with my mom at this point, but she was still listed as my permanent address, my residence, right? And she said, uh, hey, Ryan, I've got something serious to talk to you about. I got a call from the school and you apparently owe like $2,000 of tuition. It's outstanding. I was like, outstanding. Oh, so it's good. Awesome. So no. So here's the thing. The call she got was not from the school. It was from a debt collector that illegally claimed to be affiliated with the school. Here's what happened. The school did not process that I had dropped out. They then sold my tuition that was outstanding to a debt collector who then called my mom and sent her a letter pretending to be from the school. My mom gave her all of my info. All because of my mom. Who gave her, gave the guy my info because the guy, the guy claimed that he was with the school. He wasn't. But anyway, so then I called the school and I'm like, uh, guys, by the way, I live eight hours away now. I've moved back home at this point. I'm not ever close. I can't just go in. So I call up, I'm like, uh, hey guys, so you know how I, I didn't have any tuition to pay? Yeah, well, you guys sold the tuition I didn't have to pay to a debt collector, and now someone's coming to my house to take my kneecaps. Is that, what, is that what's gonna happen when the second front comes out? Oh no, yeah, the second front, Elder God, front two comes out. I take out my big loan, and then a couple of weeks later, I'm gonna get a call from my mom, and it's not gonna be good. I had a casual, actually, this is a, this is a story. I had a casual conversation yesterday at, at breakfast about like what I do for streaming, right? With someone that I just figured was a member of my, of, of my dad's now wife's family that I just didn't know. So I'm like, I'm having like this friendly conversation and she's, I'm like, wow, she's really like savvy. She knows a ton about like, knows a ton about marketing and brands. And it's like, wow, she's really savvy in this industry. Like, that's really impressive. Like I, I didn't get to figure out what she did, but I was like, Wow, this person is exceptionally savvy. Her name was Linda. And I was like, cool. Like I just introduced myself, right? And I had this like polite conversation with her, right? Um, and then after this conversation where she's like, Here, here's when I started getting suspicious. She said, oh, by the way, um, I'd love it if we could stay in touch. 
she said, just ask at the front desk for, for my info and, I, and, and they'll, they'll give it to you. So I pull my dad aside. I'm like, hey, I just had a long conversation with Linda. Who, like little backstory, like who's Linda? And my dad goes, uh, we, we, don't, we don't have a Linda. We definitely don't have a Linda. And then I'm like, who did I just talk to? So then I go to the front desk and I say, hey, uh, Linda asked um, or said that you would have like a business card for your info for me. She wanted me to have it. They pass it a business, business card. She owns the hotel. Can I buy your staff 90% off? You know what? I was actually waiting for somebody to ask that question because yeah, of course. Just, uh, if you give me, you give me your mother's maiden name. Um, oh, actually I can just get that from Kochi. He already has it. Um, I, if I can just get, um, your first pet's name, we can make the, we can make the transaction. What I'd like to do potentially is update the GP maid because people are going to start coming and being like, wait, he's been live for that long with nothing. Uh, 22 minutes. Wow. You know, what's crazy about that? We died three times in one ambicule in a span of five minutes. And that was the entire profit without even like factoring in cost of PBMing. I literally lost 21 mil in just that three minute period. That's how sad it would be to do like a full, you guys watch a PBM for 12 hours. And I'm like, well, the end of it, I pull out my little calculator. I've got a running tally of all the depth and supply costs. I go, ah, well, looks like you guys get nothing today. That's basically the move. Ow! Are you kidding me? I was already there. Okay, well, that's a little unlucky. I really meant, hey guys, see what I'm doing right now? Yeah, this is like how you should be doing it. It's very, very helpful. You want to do it just like I did right there. And uh, that'll take you right to the promised land. It's not like they're releasing a Vindicta every month for four months. They're releasing tier 95 bosses that have lots of replayability and camp ability. And like, if they release the Glacor boss, Glacor boss, sorry, I'm gonna do that wrong a lot. With Karapak with two other bosses or three other bosses all at the same time, that just that does not make objective sense for them from, a, from an update standpoint. It just doesn't. You're giving people too much content. Okay, imagine like my YouTube channel, right? Imagine I disappeared for months on end and then came back and then uploaded a video every week. Wait, that's literally what I'm doing. Okay, imagine someone responsible had a YouTube channel and they, it'd be like dumping eight videos on one day when you could stagger them and, and do them a day at a time. Like jokes aside, I, I get why they didn't. It's, it's enough content to me once per month. See my Terramol video. Have a nice day. Watch this. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Where is their reply? Tell me they didn't delete it. Where did it go? Oh my God, wait. I gotta find the reply. Cause this guy was, he said a bit late, but thank you for coming down from your throne to answer. Anyway, Reddit's frick, they're actually insane. Not everybody on Reddit, of course, but by God, what do you want from me? That was one of the things that inspired me to like really work on my PVM because my thinking was, and this was completely wrong by the way, but the thinking in my head at the time, my 17 year old head was, well, if I'm better than everybody flaming me, they can't flame me anymore. And I actually found out that's not how it works at all because people will find a way to flame you anyway about anything. But in my head, that was the logic. <sighs> Don't know, I'm dead. Me. What? I am the luckiest man in Gildor. Ha! Um. I don't want to talk about it. Alrighty, Mr. Ambassador. I believe it's time for you to provide me with a sweet, sweet crossbow piece for my efforts. 11,000 coins is kind of the same. I mean, what's my blood read usage looking like? Um, it's uh, not looking good. I would I would start by saying that, but it's fine. Actually, I have to always be thankful for the Magister because the Magister is the boss that got me partnered on Twitch. I got partnered on Twitch applying out of the Magister release. 
I bought a Stadius Warrior Hammer at the time, before it was like a non-degradable EF thing. I hammered every Magister kill twice, which tells you my kill times as well. And I was doing one kill trips. And that is somehow the content that got me partnered on Twitch. That was my peak. And thank you for the crossbow piece. Or, um, the Black Dragon Eye. Let's go. 41 mil. How much have I spent on deaths? Oh my god, I've spent 42 mil in deaths. Chat, this hour, we're gonna cross over. We're gonna be in a profit zone without factoring any of the supplies or grim charges or. I'll make a controversial take video. This is the actual way to make money, right? Make a controversial take video where I say things that literally everybody agrees with. I'll be like, death costs are bad. Um, the dual arena is not the healthiest thing of the world. And then everyone in chat is gonna spam based the whole time, right? And then, and then I'm gonna monetize that video. And then all the money I make for that video, I'm gonna turn it into bonds. That's the new plan. Hey, and we go again. I don't know why I decided to ED3 the entire... I, I mean, I didn't really ever decide to do ED3 for the whole day, but it's kind of happened. And I'm totally okay with it. Like, I've actually really enjoyed it. ED3 has got better replayability than I remember. Can I interest you in some broken Akrasase armor? You know what? I'd love to. <clears throat> I didn't want to have, like, half green-ish hair, half black hair, so I just re-dyed it because I had extra green hair dye. That's the actual entire reason for it. One of my cousins I hadn't seen in five years at the wedding. First thing she said to me was, um, was that like a charity stream goal or like a bet or something? And I was like, um, I should have said yeah. I should have said yeah, and I didn't. Oh my goodness, wait. Bro, what? That was insane. <laughs> An uncut onyx after seven hours of hard work in the underwater dungeon. Let's see what the total is in. Woo! Okay, we ended up with 63 mil with the onyx. We also spent 70 in deaths, but I'm not even gonna count that. We have made 63 mil, which is just under 10% of the way. I think we're going to call it here because I have basically lost my voice. Um, we've got a giveaway to roll. It's literally, it's only 63 mil. So it's going to go to, let's do two people. Let's do two people. 